Many companies with SharePoint sites are interested in showing their 3D models directly on their SharePoint page. In this Forge Lightning talk, I'm going to show you how you can do that. In this solution, we listen to the file upload finished event. So as soon as that happens, when the notification appears, we start uploading the file to Forge and translate it to a viewable format. When that's done, the Forge file identifier or URN of the file, which is currently empty, will show up as file property. Once the URN appears, then we can click on the file and it will be loaded into the viewer. Most of the things you need to figure out, if you don't know them already, are related to customizing SharePoint. If you are not the admin of the SharePoint site, then it's worth reaching out to them because you will probably need their help at a certain point, just like I did when customizing the Autodesk SharePoint site. You have to know how to customize the content on a SharePoint page, for example, adding a div HTML tag for the viewer, how to use third-party JavaScript libraries, in other words, how to reference the viewer's JavaScript library, and how to send HTTP requests to a couple of Forge endpoints. It may look like a lot, but on the Forge side, you do not need to know much to implement the solution. You just have to add the viewer to your page and send HTTP messages to three different endpoints. One to get an access token, one to upload the file to Forge, and one to get it translated to a viewable format. Depending on which version of SharePoint you are using, you might have to do things differently. I have two separate blog posts, which I think should cover all of them. In this presentation, we'll focus on the SharePoint online version. We will keep track of the Forge file identifier or URN as an additional file property on SharePoint. To add that, you can just go on the documents page, add a new column and name it URN. In order to monitor the upload of new files to SharePoint, the simplest option for me was to use Power Automate. There might be some SharePoint specific solutions as well, but this worked fine. You can just go to makepowerautomate.com, log in with your company account, then click on new flow to create an automated cloud flow, starting with when a file is created, properties only for SharePoint. Then you can keep adding the rest of the parts in order to get an access token uh, from Forge, upload the new file to Forge, get the file translated to a viewable format, and finally set the URN property of the SharePoint file. The more complicated bit is the SharePoint page customization. We need to install a library we can use to create our custom web part that will, be, that will simply be based on the Hello World tutorial. Then modify it to include the Forge viewer, package up the solution so that we can upload it to our SharePoint site, and then create a new page where we will insert that custom web part. We can create a JavaScript file that includes all the viewer related functionality, initializing the viewer and loading a given model in it. Then we can reference the JavaScript file from the main TypeScript file and use its launch viewer function to load a specific model. This also requires an access token, so we created a function that is using the Forge Authenticate endpoint to get that. Once we finished our custom web part, we can upload it to SharePoint. You will need admin rights for this. Then we can use the new web part in our SharePoint page. All the source code and further information can be found in this blog post. The GitHub repo has two branches. In the main branch, the web part also lists the files in the documents folder. In the page monitor branch, the web part is expecting a document browser component on the page where it's used and it monitors the user selection on it. When the user selects a file, it will load that into the viewer, just as you've seen at the beginning of the presentation. Good luck implementing this on your own SharePoint site.